Hello? Peter, I'm Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Police should be here soon. And I've got other things. Sorry, Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. We Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Fashion hold up. Vintage. Hey, we don't need you here right now. A vehicle pursuit is in progress. Need immediate response from Chelsea over. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> 
Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you Corp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Let's see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, 
I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Best smokestack picture I ever took. on that one. Perfect. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? I wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. 
If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb wrestle? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all day. Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Like about who their mysterious overlook, the person they're working for, that kind of thing. Coming your way! Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? It's under my toes! Don't kill me! Stand still! If you ask nicely, maybe! gonna hurt. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Herman! If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal! If I talk, I'm dead! You made that very clear! Okay, catch this one with your face! Herman, it's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? Oh! 
can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I see! You son of a... Okay, last chance to give up! This time I really mean it! We're going! Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last, last chance. Seriously. Sorry, Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally. Desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. <laughs>